subscribe for vlogmas hi guys welcome back to my channel and to vlogmas today's video is very 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 exciting it's the start of a very exciting week for me today's saturday december 5th and today i'm preparing and packing to go to indiana on monday to visit julia and i'm so pumped today's video is just going to be a vlog of everything that i'm doing to get ready because Today's my last day at home before I leave for the airport. I'm going to be staying at my boyfriend's house tomorrow night and tonight um, so he can take me to the airport on Monday. So, lots to do today. I haven't done anything to prepare. The first thing I'm doing is obviously going to Starbucks because I have a free drink. I'm going to get that venti latte and then I need to go to the post office to send a couple return packages. One of them is my Skims slides that I'm returning and then another one are some jeans that I ordered from Princess Polly that are too small for me so I need to return. So I'm gonna head to the post office first and then go to Starbucks and then come back home and start packing. Alright so I've literally tried to return or ship these Princess Polly jeans two times now. The first time I put them in the wrong packaging so they didn't take it. The second time they're closed and I don't know how so I wasn't able to go in and buy um, an envelope like I was planning to do. So I guess I'll just gift them to somebody because obviously it's not working out for me to ship them back and get my money back. I just ordered Starbucks and I'm waiting at the um, curbside pickup spot. Don't know if they're doing curbside pickup right now. <laughs> But I'm gonna wait like five minutes and see, and then go in to pick it up if they don't bring it out here. Okay, there ended up being no curbside pickup, so I was waiting here <laughs> for a couple minutes before I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go in. But I got a venti hot caramel brulee latte with soy milk, obviously, and no whip. I got a plain bagel with a side of the avocado spread because I'm too lazy to make breakfast at home. All right, my friends, I just got home. Gotta start preparing soon. It's 10 o'clock already and I'm going to my boyfriend's house at like 5 or 6. So I have a few hours to get everything done and pack everything. But first, you know the drill. Mm. So good. Okay. Um, okay, so I ordered just a bagel and avocado spread which I got, but there's a whole bag full of other stuff for Christy. Am I a horrible person if I eat these things? I mean, I can't go back and they wouldn't take them back anyways. This is a sausage, egg, and cheddar, and a banana nut bread, and an apple juice? Christy, no. Christy obviously was trying to get their kid some breakfast and now they don't have breakfast and I feel like a felon for taking their breakfast but I did not know I'm sorry this was not my intention but literally I asked for these and I got all of these too so I don't know what I'm gonna do obviously can't bring it back and she's gonna get it anyways because they're gonna remake it for her and realize they gave it to me on accident so I'm just gonna eat it and not feel bad <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so excited to film this it's time to start packing um <clears throat> I did make a packing list on my iPad, which I will just show you right now. It's not complete complete. It has everything except for like clothing because I have no idea what clothing I'm going to bring. But basically it's just organized um, into some categories. But I'm going to do this part last because I'm just going to focus on the clothing right now. Obviously it's like a 40 degree temperature difference from here in Indiana. So she needs to tell me what I need to be warm. I'm probably just going to bring a bunch of layered things. But I did go to Target yesterday to pick up just like the basics like um travel containers and stuff so i'll give you a little target haul of what i got yesterday um because everything is basically for the trip okay first thing is just this travel container kit i always get one of these every single time i travel just because it's so handy um it's just like this it comes with a little plastic bag and then four little bottles and also a toothbrush cover which i didn't even know this was in here so i ended up getting 
a toothbrush container because I didn't even see that thing, but I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. Who knows? We'll see. And then I just got two more extra little travel bottles because I use a lot of shampoo and also a lot of body wash, so uh, you can never have too many of these. I'm definitely going to be prepared. I got some travel um, eye drops because on the plane, my eyes get very dry because I wear contacts. I also got a new deodorant. It's the same exact one, but I wanted to restock just in case I ran out of my other one because it is running low. This is the native sugar cookie one. Very festive it's such a good scent and then i just got some little mini travel toothpaste look how tiny this is literally adorable that's really all for like travel essentials but then i also obviously got some plain snacks well i picked these up too because keiko and i were going to make them yesterday maybe we'll make them tonight instead i saw these i think these are new because i've never seen these before but i love veggie straws so much and they had veggie chips, like in a chip container. And these are the cheddar cheese ones. So yeah, I'm very excited about those. I picked up some Think Protein Bars. I love Think Protein Bars. These are the lemon ones. I've never tried these, but I love lemon things. And I love these bars. So these are probably going to be really good. And also they're pretty filling because they have... 20 grams of protein in them. It's good to hold me over on the plane. And then the last thing, I got some, well, I already ate some, but they're the Snowball Citrus Pepperidge Farm cookies. I love these so much for Christmas. They're so good. And yeah, that is all. Not very exciting. But we will get into the exciting parts of finding outfits and stuff. I have no idea what the heck I'm going to bring at all. I know I'm going to bring a couple of my coats. I'm just going to bring a lot of layering pieces so that I'm not freezing because it's going to be very different for me. I also have two different suitcase options. I'm only allowed a carry-on bag because I didn't pay for a checked bag. So I'm going to have to figure out which one's bigger because they're both carry-on size. But um, they're both Keikoas. I have this one. And then this little small suitcase. I don't know which one's going to hold more, but we'll see. Which everyone does. We'll figure it out. Let's see where this went. This was from the last trip we took. San Diego. I think it was to Mississippi. It doesn't say, actually. But yeah, I think this was our trip to Mississippi to visit my sister. I'm literally crazy and already have my airport outfit picked out because I ordered this set off of Acta. Literally so cute. I saw hannah godwin wearing it on her instagram story and her and dylan had matching ones i um saw it and i was like oh my gosh i literally have an obsession for matching sweatsuits right now or just like activewear sets but like loungewear ones this thing is so cute i think it was like limited edition too but it's this black smoke print and it just comes with some joggers which are so comfortable so soft and they cinch at the ankles these are the softest most comfortable quality ever i'm probably gonna order more like colors um from them because i've never ordered for them before but i got both pairs in a size small so i got this pair of joggers and then to match it comes with well it doesn't come with but it's paired with this little cropped hoodie also the same exact material so soft and the print is really really cute this is also small so i already have my airport outfit picked out and then along with this to put on top when i get extra extra cold i'm bringing my black puffer from princess polly because i know i'll be wearing this a ton when i'm there especially like when i arrive in indiana i'm probably going to want to wear this because it's going to be really cool so that's my airport outfit um so i'm just gonna pack what i know i'm gonna bring for sure and then oh my gosh my hair and then figure it out these suitcases are very small and i regret not just getting a hello you can see yourself getting a checked bag because first of all i'm bringing a bunch of puffy like thick things so my suitcase is gonna fill up very fast but we're gonna try our hardest <laughs> and do this so i'm gonna use this regular mini black one so starting off with shoes i'm only gonna bring two pairs of shoes one of them um oh these are so dirty i should clean them before i leave but one of them are my windsor smiths because i literally wear these with every single outfit and then for the other ones i'm just gonna bring my h&m black booties because also you can wear these with literally anything see this seriously already takes up like half of my suitcase <laughs> so next while they're right here i'm just gonna pack some socks honestly just bring this whole pack um of ankle socks white ankle socks from walmart the other day there's like nine pairs in here i think i'm just gonna bring all of them all right i just grabbed all my like sports bras and underwear and stuff but i'm gonna roll all my sports bras and then put them up here and i just shoved on my underwear in this little zipper bag so let's roll okay i think now since i packed all my undergarments and stuff like that i'm gonna pack my 
bottoms. I'm like so stressed that not everything's gonna fit because I really don't think everything's gonna fit. But I'm just gonna pick one pair of jeans. I got this pair from Princess Polly. They're like the asymmetrical ones and I really like these. So I'm gonna just bring one pair, super, super easy, simple. And then I'm gonna bring two pairs of joggers. So this tie-dye red pair that we're gonna take pictures in for sure. And then a sleeping pair, this is like really thick um, sweats to sleep in. So I think, um, should I? I should bring like a black pair too. Maybe I bring black jeans or just some leggings. Probably jeans, huh? Also just gonna bring a black pair of Princess Polly jeans as well. Um, because if I do need leggings for something, I'm sure maybe hopefully I'll be able to just borrow some from her. But we'll see about that. So I'm also gonna roll all of my stuff to attempt to make more room. But who knows how that'll work. Here are the pants that I'm bringing, super simple. Now I'm gonna go through and find a bunch of tops and shirts that I want to bring. So let's do that. Assuming these will all fit, which they most definitely will not, these are the tops that I want to bring. So I have this green sweater from TJ Maxx, very cute, very wintry, and then I'm just bringing this plain white long sleeve because we're going to take pics in those um, tie-dye joggers. This thing I don't think is going to fit, but it's okay. It's this really chunky white sweater from H&M and then I have this really really soft sweater it's actually my sister's cotton on and then I have this little mock neck sweater which I really really love this is from Forever 21 and then I'm just gonna bring this plain black long sleeve top from Princess Polly and it has like ties on the side that are really cute so now let's try to fold all of these <laughs> Oh my gosh this is so much stuff and it's not gonna fit so I'm gonna try to squeeze my pants in here first and I may have to squeeze stuff into like my personal bag too which is just gonna be like the biggest backpack I could find basically <laughs> because we're gonna try fit everything but it's obviously going to be very hard but we're gonna try our best so let's put the pants in right now and then see how much room we have left over okay so my pants took up half of my suitcase I still have the other half so that's good um now I'm just gonna try to squeeze as many my dogs. My 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 dogs. I'm gonna try to squeeze as many shirts as I can in here, but I also I also need to pack another jacket for sure too. So I think I'm just gonna bring these two jackets. This one I'm gonna wear on the airplane, so not gonna be in my suitcase, but I need to figure out a way to squeeze this in my suitcase. So I'm gonna Snapchat her and ask her if she thinks that these are fine to bring, um, but we'll see. Okay, I successfully fit stuff in there. I had to take two sweaters, well, one sweater out, and I just replaced it with a different, like, um, really comfy, really soft thing that I got from Target, but you'll see it when I wear it. I'm not gonna take it out again. And then I literally stuffed, stuffed, stuffed that tan um, puffer jacket on top and it fit really well. Um, I just realized I didn't pack any of my soaps or anything in there yet, so don't know how that's gonna work. But I'm pretty sure I'm set with all of the clothes, which I'm very, very, very happy about. So now I'm gonna focus on um, all my soaps and toiletries and stuff. I have a huge list right here, so let me show you what I have on here. Literally so many things. So this is my list. I packed all my basics and shoes. Now for self-care, I'm going to start by doing all of this. So I need face wash, micellar water, moisturizer, Curology, night cream, sunscreen, makeup bag, glasses, contacts, two pairs of contacts just in case, toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, a razor, exfoliating gloves, deodorant, tampons just in case because I'm supposed to start like any time now. And then I need to bring tweezers, argan oil, and heat protectant. And then maybe that'll all go in my carry-on. I'm not sure. For electronics, obviously all of the necessities this is everything that i'm gonna bring and everything i need and then obviously just the necessity necessity things okay so right here i just have a bunch of the things that i need to put in some bottles so i have my pros shampoo and conditioner i have my face wash because i ran out of curology which is really really sad and i'm kind of scared for my skin but until we get a new shipment um and probably the whole time i'm in indiana i'm gonna be using the neutrogena one my favorite body wash some micellar water to take off makeup and then i need to bring some of these and then also my toothbrush, obviously. So let's put some stuff into these bottles. Okay. 
Okay, I have this thing that someone gave me for Christmas so long ago, and I don't even remember who or why, but it's like a travel kit basically with a super cute print <laughs> but you can just put a bunch of your toiletries in here so that's what i'm gonna do is pack this full with all of my self-care stuff basically so i filled one of them with shampoo my other one with body wash and then i have a little bit of conditioner some face wash some makeup remover well my cellar water and then a tiny 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 bit of argan oil this is the one that i use actually can i take this this is 3.4 fluid ounces isn't that like the max but I don't need to bring the whole thing and it's gonna explode so no but yeah I have this obviously my toothbrush so I put all of that in this little zipper case just in case anything explodes praying it doesn't but I do need to pack a pair of glasses and my contacts oh I need to go grab an extra pair of contacts also and then I also just have this little mini Sol de Janeiro lotion so I'm gonna bring this also is it just me or does everyone else forget to bring their own hairbrush when they travel this year i will not be forgetting and i will be bringing my own so thank you very much <laughs> i'm basically just looking through my skincare i mean through my drawers and making sure i have everything i need my makeup bag my beauty blenders moisturizer curology oh shoot how big is this thing pretty sure i've traveled with it before i'm just gonna bring it hopefully if they take it away from me i will be very sad <laughs> sunscreen tweezers i'm just gonna bring one pair because i don't need all of them what else what else oh are you allowed to take dry shampoo on an airplane because isn't it flammable let me look this up really quick deodorant dry shampoo and hairspray are allowed in your carry-on bag as long as it doesn't exceed the 3.4 ounce limit we're good this is only 1.6 ounce I'm definitely gonna need some dry shampoo. <laughs> oh, my grande lash, forgot about this. And then also these, and I bought oil sheets because I know I'm gonna be using these, especially when traveling. So I'm gonna pack all of these. I'm trying to think if I'm gonna do my makeup at all until I get there, probably not though. So I think I'm just gonna pack this stuff. Christmas, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. This should be everything. I have all my soaps and stuff in here. My brush, some lotion, dry shampoo, extra deodorant, a bunch of tampons just in case, and then some makeup remover pads. So basically this thing just folds over. Oh jeez. And buckles right here. And then everything is super condensed in this little thing, which is nice. All right, gonna take a quick little break to paint my nails because obviously they're looking a little crazy. I painted them like two alternating colors and I really liked it, but it's time for a change. So I picked up this color by Essie. I showed this in a vlog in the color In Plain View. It's a pretty, pretty bluish teal color. I really love it. And then I finally got some top coat to make it last longer. So I'm gonna take off this polish and then repaint my nails. So ready for a cool transition. And they're painted. I love the color. It literally took me so long because I did like three coats or no, two coats because they look so good with only two coats. And then <laughs> my nails weren't dry. So I had to wait for them to dry because I literally could not get this thing open. <sighs> And I was too scared I was going to mess them up, so I had to wait. And then, yeah, they're still a little messy, but I'm going to wait um, till they're, like, dry, dry to pick off all the excess. But I think the color's really pretty, and it's really wintry. I'm so used to doing, like, bright colors, like white and, like, light pink and tan and neutrals, but this is very different for me, so I like it. This is also, like, one of the first times that I've ever finished a venti coffee, but I'm very proud of myself. But yeah, I've just been painting my nails, catching up on Vlogmas videos, like, watching some of my friends and some other youtubers that's yeah i think i'm gonna finish packing now because i'm pretty much almost done which is cool and it's 12 30 i think i should probably take these just in case fix up my nails if i ever need to so i'm gonna pack these in my little skincare bag but i'm gonna pack my carry-on right now because that's where like all of this stuff is gonna go and i need to make sure it's all gonna fit so let's do that okay the bag that i just always use for my carry-on is just this um nike backpack i use this for school too but it's just really spacious and has a lot of room so um there's like one main pocket one front pocket and then two side zipper pockets this one had some tampons and like a random purell wipe that i'm just gonna keep in here 
But yeah, I'm gonna try to put all of my stuff in here now and see how that goes. Also, since I have like no more space, <laughs> this is gonna be the bag that I'm bringing. It's a little fanny pack, but I can wear it as a cross bag. Oh, there's a crossbody bag too, which is cute. Yeah, basically it just has my wallet in it. It has my passport, some hand sanitizer, glasses, and then a little cleaning wipe. You know, just in case. But yeah, that's what's gonna go in here, and then probably my AirPods also. And everything else is gonna go in my carry-on bag, which is right here right now. It just has my snacks, and then also this thing that I showed you earlier that has all my toiletries, just because it doesn't fit in my suitcase. And then my suitcase, I ended up squeezing um skincare bag in here, along with some beanies that I'm gonna bring, and then I also squeezed my makeup bag in here also. So hopefully it fits as a carry-on. Very heavy, but I don't think they weigh carry-ons as long as they fit like size-wise. So I'm hoping, but I'm pretty much almost done packing. The last things I need to do are just pack my um, electronics, but I'm still going to use those before I leave today because I'm going to edit a couple videos, including this one, just to have some ready. If you're wondering where my outfit is from, from this video, it's very random, not very cute, but just comfy. This, I mean, it is cute, but it's just a loungewear outfit. This crew is from For The One, a small business on Etsy, and then I'm wearing some Set Active leggings. These are like the Sculpt Flex ones in oat milk, some socks, and some slippers because I am very comfy. I'm also supposed to get a lot of Amazon packages today. I'm supposed to get two pairs of PJs that are really, really cute. They're for like Christmas, but I think those are coming today. I'm not sure what time, and have some more packages, but I'll I don't think those are going to come by the time I leave, so that's kind of sad, but it means I'll have a lot of packages to unbox for you when I get home in a week, so yeah. I'm really going to miss my Christmassy room though. That's why I'm like having all the lights on right now because I'm trying to take it in before I leave. All my Amazon packages actually just came, so I'm going to open them really quickly for you. This one I'm pretty sure is for my boyfriend for Christmas. So I'm not going to show it just in case he watches this video because I've literally been telling him not to watch certain videos because I talk about his presents in them. All right, cute. I'm not going to show you guys what it is because I'll show you guys once I do a what I got people for Christmas video, like I wrap presents with me because I'm planning on doing that. But until then, it's a secret as to what I got him. <laughs> These are one of my pajama sets. I am like so into PJ sets right now. So I got one set which is like a flannel set. It's a really, really cute pattern. Loki reminds me of like my middle school uniform, but it's just a button up, really comfy bottoms, and they do come with a drawstring. Oh my gosh. And then I got another set, which is like a satin one. This color is so pretty. Look at this. It's like a sage green. I think this is like one of my favorite colors right now, but it's the same exact long sleeve and pant set. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I'm obsessed and I'm so excited to wear these. They look literally so comfortable. All right, guys, I have everything packed pretty much. All I need to pack, like I said, are all my electronics now. So I'm going to wait till I leave to do all that, but it's basically um, just everything that I'm going to bring. So let me give you a little rundown of what I'm going to bring and then I'm going to end off this video. Laptop, iPad, external hard drive, camera batteries and camera charger, laptop and iPad charger, AirPods, phone charger, and then camera, tripod, and SD card, which is already in here. That's all that I'm packing. I'm vlogging every single day that I'm there and I'm also going to vlog my traveling day as well for like the first vlog of the trip. So I'm very, very excited. I'm going to be leaving in two days. So very happy. This is going to be like the first video in the traveling series so make sure you comment down below what videos that you want julie and i to film together i'm very very excited so excited and make sure you subscribe to not miss all that content and for more vlogmas content and i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys never knew a moment could feel so right could slow down time like this